Hi, I'm Lynn. I've been going to Amazing Grace for 21 years now. I grew up in the church. I'm from Houston, Texas. Um, was baptized as a little bitty girl and then in my teenage years I got baptized again and um, my whole life I've just loved the Lord and have always been really involved in church. When we moved to Idaho from Nashville, Tennessee about 22 years ago we um, found Amazing Grace pretty much right off the bat and um, that became our church home. Um, it wasn't too long after we started going here that Pastor Lynn and Durrett invited us over for dinner one time and our, gosh our kids were tiny I want to say Macy was probably one or two and so that made Braden either two or three and so Caleb must have been about five and we went over and we had dinner and man we just became fast and furious friends and, and uh, then somehow we ended up at their house for Easter dinner and Thanksgiving and Christmas and I don't know if we kept getting invited or we just kept showing up but um, that became our tradition we just kept ending up over at the Shaw house all the time and um, they truly um, just are our church family so about 11 years ago uh, we went through a divorce and my first instinct was to run back to Texas and just go back to family um, because that's where I was safe and that's where I would be comforted and just kind of start over but, um, you know, this was home for the kids and this is where they were planted, so we decided to stay. And um, one thing that I found so comforting about staying was that our church family just gave us so much comfort and security and helped us heal. And when big dates came up, like Thanksgiving and Christmas and Easter, our traditions didn't change. We still went to the Shawls house and that's so important when, you know, something big like that was just so awful and, and, you know, really hurt everybody that we could keep a tradition the same and we found so much comfort and happiness there. And, you know, just little things like um, back in those days, the church had the father-daughter dance. And when it came time for the father-daughter dance, we had people from the church just calling and you know offering to step in and to take my girls and it was Pastor Dean in fact who took both the girls and they just had a great time and um, people got dresses for them and they just had a wonderful time and they still talk about it. We have pictures and it was really awesome. I remember one really special time Kayla wanted a beach cruiser, you know, those bikes with the big handlebars, and I couldn't afford to go buy one, but I could afford one that you got in a box, but it came in pieces. So I brought that box with all the pieces to the church office, and Pastor Lynn and Ben and Josh and I don't know who else, but they all came down and got that box and got their tools and put that bike together, and they all stepped in to help out. and. You know, my church family has just been there to comfort us and to get us through no matter what it was. And um, my kids all love the Lord. They grew up in this church. They all went to church camp and they all have a strong foundation. And, um, you know, I just can't imagine life without amazing grace. Another amazing thing, my people, my children are a little accident, well, they're a little accident, no, not accident, prone to accidents. If it's going to happen, it's going to happen to my kids. We've had concussions, we've had broken arms, broken legs, we've had ACL surgeries, we've had, oh my gosh, fingers that were just broken right here. We've had, Macy had to wear a helmet. Her last two years of basketball, she had to wear a helmet. Let's see, one time Macy was grating cheese and she grated it all the way down to a tendon and her finger and every single time I call the church and I say, okay, I need you to pray for Macy's finger or I need you to pray for Braden's knee or one time I even called and I said, I was just on the phone talking to my brother and he lives in Alaska and we were talking on the phone and all of a sudden he says, oh my gosh, I'm being chased and before I could say by what, Pastor Lynn said, by a bear? I said, no, by a moose. And Pastor Lynn said, okay, I'll start praying right now. And so, my gosh, you know, when I know that I can call the church, I text all of them and just whatever prayer request I have, I know beyond a shadow of a doubt that I call my church family and that they are gonna pray right then and there. They're not gonna say, okay, yeah, I'll pray for you. They're gonna pray right then and there on the phone or I'm gonna get a text right back saying, we're praying now. And Macy had a pretty serious illness last year. 
and they prayed every day until I gave the report back that she was healed. So I just cannot imagine life without Amazing Grace Fellowship and just that reassurance that they're there no matter what's going to come up in life, no matter what we're going through. And, you know, they're just the foundation that I live upon and they're what keep me going. And that's my story.